Hi everybody, Maria here. I hope you guys are doing great. Pardon if you hear other talking, but I am doing this video and I need to do it now so I can get this out in the mail. Um, but there are still people who have other Zooms and things that they have to get done in the house too. So I'm gonna share this with you. Uh, Maria Melcher and I are doing a swap and we agreed to, to do an embellishment book and make it Valentine's Day theme. So I am using a Dollar Tree three ring binder, the small ones. And I am using the Michaels, I think it's called Sweet Talk. It's the pastel paper pad they had out this year, along with some of the embellishments they had and some other goodies. So on the front, I have two of the sheets of layered paper and I sewed around both. And let me take apart, let me take off this um, ribbon here. This is some seam binding that I hand dyed and I used some alcohol inks as well as some Distress Stain from Tim Holtz, the spray, and then she can either use that to keep the album closed because it has a bit of an alligator mouth or she can use it for whatever she likes. So there's that. So as I was saying, on the front I have some paper that I sewed on and then I have a bow that I made with a cute little dangle on it with a heart and a bead. And then I have this sticker from a Maggie Holmes paper pad. I have this Darling Roller Skate is a Chaos Crafts die. And I popped up the wheels. I got that idea from Craft Purge. And then I have some little bling on the wheels. I also have some Rick Rack on it. On the side, I have this, uh, Tr both these trims are from Hobby Lobby, this bling trim and this ruffle trim. And I got some more paper underneath it just to keep it more pink on there. On the back, I also have a couple sheets of paper that I sewed along. And then both sides, I have some Nouveau drops. And then I have this cute doily and some pink rig rack. See, so I have some Nouveau drops here too. So then let's get going on the inside. I'm gonna do a quick flip through of the whole inside and then I'm going to show you each page individually. So I'm gonna pull them out so you can see them a little better. So here's just a quick flip through of what I have done. Okay, and then now I'll go through each thing individually. Okay, for the inside cover on the left, I have put in here some doilies. I have a bow here attached by a heart paper clip and a roller skate that I made. And then there's just different doilies and different shapes and colors. And I attached it with some paper clips so they stay on there nice. And I did put a piece of paper on the inside. And then, to line the pocket, I just made a couple of cards, Valentine's Day type of cards, and she can do whatever she likes with them. I did sew along them and line them. Or she can just leave them in to keep the album the way it is. Um, most of my pages are back to back and they're sewn together or they're fold in half and sewn together. For the first page, I made these cute little sweaters and I posted these on my Instagram and you guys were so sweet about them. So they each have some different goodies on them to make them a ugly Valentine's Day sweater. And um, I did sew on all the pages and on this one I have some fun Rick Rack at the bottom. It's got some metallic thread in it and some of these hearts from Michaels. And I think these came out really cute. On the back side of that page, I have decorated it with some of the paper and some of this mesh trim from Dollar Tree. On this one, I put a little safety pin in it. She could take that out and use it if she wants. I, I like to make my pages so that the person can reuse them if they want. And everything on here is just with um, removable glue dots. And then I made a couple of these little pockets that you um, can make with the library pockets from Target or anywhere else you can find them in that. Idea came from Bona, who is Live Love Scrap here on YouTube. And these are just my little goodie baggies for her. So that is the first page. The next thing in the album is this cute little envelope that I made out of the paper. And I added some trims that I got from Hobby Lobby and this cute little sticker from Michaels. It's a chipboard sticker. And I closed it with a Velcro dot. And then inside, I gave her a whole bunch of my little baggies that I like to use for different things. And then I put them inside another baggie and I didn't seal it because I want her to be able to reuse those as well as she likes. So that is what's in the next page. And then in page, actually envelope, then pages three and four. This is cameras. Uh, this is a Sizzix die. 
and uh, they're layered. And then on the background, of course, there's this sewing. There's this cute little heart that is two punches and a bow that I got in my giveaway from last year and then uh, layer die cuts that I put in the back. On the back page is some frames. These are altered Maggie Holmes frames. So I just, on the frames, I added some flowers. On this is a little Maggie Holmes puffy heart. On this is one of her rosettes and some flowers. So she can take those off and reuse those. The next page is some bling. So I took a baseball card page and cut it apart. And then I just added paper to the edge and put some bling in it that I think she can use. For the next two pages, I have these cute little roller skates. You guys saw one on the front and one on the inside cover. And these again, these will just come off with, these are just a repositional glue dots. And then for the decoration, I added some little stickers everywhere. And then this is a ruffle trim that I made myself out of fabric with some sequin trim and a cute little heart. So that's that side. On this side, I decorated more. I have a big doily and a heart gold doily and a feather and a cute little chipboard piece. And then I made these houses and they're triple layered. So if you can see, first they have a piece of gold paper in the back and then um, the house is backed by a piece of that gold paper. So it kind of looks double, but it's actually triple. There's only pop dots between two of the layers though. So that is that page. Okay, and then the next page is decorated. Okay, that one came out a little bit. Okay, no problem. Is um, these hearts. These are the KS Craft Die hearts, and I layered one into the other. I have two of the purple-ish and two of the pink-ish, and I love these. You do have to work with these a little bit to get them to work with you right if you're using a thicker paper. And then I used some of the, what is that called? I'm not gonna remember right now, you guys. <laughs> I'll try to remember when I'm editing. Um, around the edges and on the paper, of course I sewed around it. I used a piece of vellum, some Nuvo drops, some uh, velvet trim, and I love how that came out. And then here's the back and that's just got the paper. And then what I did there is I inserted a piece of paper uh, layered gold and some of the paper from the collection and I put a whole bunch of bows that I made velvet bows and then miscellaneous other bows and then last but not least here's the back put that back together when I'm done and the back has a paper clip on it, a big one that I got from Daiso with a couple of charms on it and one is Haishi beads and one is sequins and then I put a whole bunch of trims on it. They're sewn on, so you can just pull the thread out and reuse them. But I did do it so it's all the way around the back. So it's like at least 16 inches of trim. And I did back the back here. And this is just a whole bunch of yummy doilies that are meant to stay on there. And so that is the whole of my... Uh, Valentine's Day embellishment album for Maria Melcher and I hope she will enjoy it. I love swapping with her and I hope you guys have found some inspiration. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and I appreciate you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.